What I can feel is a huge gap between perception of the French market and the reality. International investors may have the idea that the French labor market is difficult to comprehend and it's very little flexible. But on the other hand, we feel here that we have rules which are adapted to any kind of situation and which can be used uh, to go through hiring to redundancy when necessary. We feel we have strong assets uh, on the labour market. For instance, we are ranked sixth for the hourly labour productiveness in France and then we have very good uh, universities and management schools uh, with very high qualified labour um, labor force recognized on the international market. We think in France we have to rely on social dialogue uh, within companies to make companies able to overcome the difficulties they are faced with. And so we have developed a number of different tools uh, enabling companies to have a loyal discussion with the workforce and try to solve the difficulties they have. And we have had a few agreements in the past few years going into this direction. We have, for instance, these kinds of agreements in the car companies, uh, the big car companies in France, such as Peugeot or Renault, have taken these kind of agreements, uh, trading uh, um, a better flexibility of the organizations and the time frame of the workers. And also they had agreed on changing the way work is organized so it can be more flexible when the activity is low and more flexible when the activity is high. They also discuss moderation of wages or no increases of wages for a few years with a promise of reconsidering the situation when the company situation is getting better. When a company has short-term difficulties, it has to choose about redundancies, layouts or other kind of adaptation. We promote another kind of adaptation, which is financing, uh, putting workers on part-time uh, jobs. It means that the company will not pay the workers any longer for a full-time job. The company will lower the hours and the state will pay the difference uh, for the job workers uh, between full-time and part-time. So it's very concrete because for a company faced with the situation, state will come along and pay up to roughly seven and a half euro per hour for all the hours the workers are out on the company. And this enables the company to keep a link with the workers, um, prevents layouts and gets the opportunity to go back to work and to increase activity when the, the, the growth comes back. Since July 2013, more than 15,000 companies have been authorized to use this new mechanism, covering more than 320,000 employees. If you want to make collective redundancies because the company situation needs it, you have to adopt a scheme within a limited time frame. We changed completely this procedure about a year ago, July 2013, and now the limited time frame is between two months and four months, depending on the size of the companies and the number of redundancies. Within this time frame, you have a choice to try to negotiate or just to arrive with the plan of the company. At the end, the services of the state give you an authorization within two or three weeks. The scheme is really working well. We have more than 700 uh, companies which went under this new scheme. We approve the collective redundancies by 95%. And, uh, we have very low litigation uh, numbers because only 7% of the schemes go to litigation afterwards. Mm -hmm.